Hey everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. In last week's video on system effect, I mentioned that bad inlet and outlet conditions can cause a fan to not perform as it's selected. So let's look at inlet and outlet conditions today and how they affect the fan. Let's get started. To minimize system effect, the airflow entering and leaving the fan should be uniform. It should be smooth and evenly distributed. So ideally, your inlet and outlet conditions would look like this in and out of your fan. This is ideal, but not necessarily realistic. Elbows or dampers at or close to the inlet will cause airflow to become turbulent, which will result in system effect. Let me make a little room and go over here. Inlet swirl is a common cause of system effect. Having two elbows close to each other can cause air to pre-rotate or counter-rotate with the impeller. So let's draw a fan here, and let's say the air comes in to it like this. If the airflow has already started curving in the direction of the rotation, this is pre-rotation. Over here, we can draw counter rotation where the fan is rotating like the first one, but the airflow is coming down and rotating this way into it. If the airflow is being made to rotate in the opposite direction of the fan, this will cause counter rotation. Both of these will unpredictably affect performance. Outlet conditions are just as important as inlet conditions. It's important that airflow leaving the fan be smooth with a straight discharge duct. Two axial fans have an airflow pattern created by the hub and blades where air flows freely through the blades at the perimeter but is blocked by the hub at the center. The velocity profile is positive where the air leaves the blades and negative behind the hub. So you get a pattern that kind of looks like this and as it travels away from the fan itself, it'll start to smooth out. Let me make a little bit more room here. But it takes some distance to get to the point where the airflow is uniform and smooth. In the case of a centrifugal fan, more air is discharged near the top or outside edge of the fan, and it moves down the ductwork kind of like this. Again, it takes some distance before it gets smooth and uniform. It typically takes about two and a half duct diameters for the airflow pattern to smooth out in either one of these cases. Because of this, it's recommended that fans be installed with two and a half duct diameters of straight duct into and out of the fan before any dampers or elbows are installed. Poor inlet conditions can negatively affect fan performance and reduce airflow. This means that you would have to increase the fan RPM to get the airflow you need. And remember from the fan laws video that the horsepower goes up as the cube of RPM. So now your horsepower is larger, and this would mean that you'd be using more energy to run the fan. If the horsepower went up by enough, you might need to upsize your motor to the next size motor, and you might even have to start upsizing the electrical system. So installation can have a huge effect on fan performance, but you can minimize this by maintaining good inlet and outlet conditions. So that's how inlet and outlet conditions can affect fan performance. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.